Chicago Math and Science Academy CMSA is a school middle school and high school grades 6th 12th located in Chicago, Illinois in the Rogers Park neighborhood. The school reported 603 students and 13 full-time equivalent teachers for the 2015-2016 school year. CMSA was opened in 2004, and the school is managed by Concept Schools, a non-profit charter management organization. As of 2016, of the 603 students 571 were eligible for the free lunch program. Academics <laughs> <laughs> Chicago Math and Science Academy does not have a selective enrollment process. Parents can apply to the school for all grades via an online form. If any open seats are available, the student is automatically accepted. If no seats are available, the student is placed in a public lottery to randomly select students to fill the remaining seats. Finally, the rest of the students are placed on a waiting list. In 2013, CMSA was ranked by the Chicago Public Schools Board as a Level 1 Plus school, according to their School Quality Report. Campus The original Chicago Math and Science Academy building was located on 1705 West Lunt Avenue. The two buildings were the original site for St. Jerome Parish School, and were being leased by CMSA. It shared its campus with St. Jerome Catholic Church, although no religious affiliation was established between the two separate organizations. On days when school was not in session, the building was used as a Sunday school for the church parishioners. These two buildings are approximately 42,000 square feet in size. In May 2009, Chicago Math and Science Academy purchased the vacant Clark Mega Mall property for $5.5 million and moved to its current location at 7212 North Clark Street. The new building had 54,000 square acres, up 14,000 from the old buildings. The new building originally did not have a gym, but one was constructed and officially opened in November 2013. The school currently does not have a dedicated auditorium. Topic union teachers at the school attempted to form a union under Illinois law, which was approved by the National Labor Relations Board in 2010. The school appealed that decision and the National Labor Relations Board decided in favor of the school as a result of the appeal. As a result, the union decided not to represent the CMSA teachers. In August 2010, Chicago Math and Science Academy fired a pregnant teacher for union organizing. Rhonda Hartwell was eight months pregnant at the time of firing, in addition to having to move up her delivery date for insurance purposes. The school said that the reason behind Hartwell's termination was because of budget cuts, although at the time the school was hiring new teachers and offered all current teachers a 5% increase pay raise. The school also gave Hartwell a $1,500 performance bonus and contract renewal before the union organization efforts began. Additionally, the school hired an expensive anti-union law firm, Safarth Shaw, to fight the teachers' organizing efforts. In response to her firing, Hartwell said the following, they are using me as a scapegoat to send a chilling message to the rest of the teachers. We formed a union to give teachers a voice in making the school better and to create an environment where teachers would feel secure enough to share ideas and concerns. I am still hopeful that school officials will eventually do the right thing. In April 2011, Chicago Math and Science Academy agreed to a $40,000 back pay settlement to Hartwell. 
Since the union began to organize, the school has spent over $113,000 of taxpayer money on legal fees fighting the union. On August 5, 2010, in efforts to reform the school, members of the Chicago Math and Science Academy community, including but not limited to teachers, students, parents of students, alumni, and labor leaders, came together and marched to the school's offices to speak with former principal Ali Yilmaz. After selectively refusing to answer some difficult questions from the group and dodging other questions, Yilmaz allegedly instructed a staff member to illegally activate the fire alarm system to evacuate everyone from the building, thus ending the meeting. In February 2011, a Chicago charter school union affiliated with the American Federation of Teachers alleged that Chicago Math and Science Academy and Concept Schools had abused the visa policy of the United States by routinely assigning these teachers duties or class load that seemingly do not take into account the laws governing H 1B visa holders. The school reportedly paid higher salaries to those immigrant teachers than the American teachers. United States Department of Labor spokesman responded by saying an investigation was ongoing. On February 11, 2011, demonstrators held a protest against Chicago Math and Science Academy due to its union busting efforts. Despite winning a 67% vote by teachers to start the union, the board appealed their decision to unionize. The picketing was held outside the law office building of Suleiman F. Dizdarevich, a member of the board of directors of the school. Demonstrators included Episcopal Church deacon Tim Yeager and Northwestern University professor Martha Biondi. <laughs> <laughs> FBI raids On June 4, 2014, agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation visited Chicago Math and Science Academy with a search warrant. The FBI also raided Concept School Chicago Regional Office in Des Plaines, Ill. A special agent leading the probe said that the raids were due to an investigation of ongoing white-collar crime matter, but would give no details. <laughs> 